We have a follow-up now to a story that we brought you yesterday on the local great white shark population. We are learning that there are more sharks more frequently in nearshore waters right off of our coastline, along with swimmers and surfers. Today, we talked to the man behind a two-year-long study. They're using the beaches for safety, for food, and for warmth. They're ignoring people. Chris Lowe, director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach, shares results of his team's ongoing research targeting 26 sites off California's coast. He calls the shallow waters off Carpinteria a hot spot, a shark nursery for juvenile great whites. We know white sharks are probably born at around four, four and a half feet long. Female may give birth up to anywhere from two to 15 babies at a time. And then those babies are completely on their own. They get no parental care. And that's when we start to see them show up at our beaches. Shark! He and his team spent the past two years tracking 40 juvenile white sharks there. Food, including stingrays, is one draw for those less than 10 feet in size. And what we found from some of our tagging of the bigger juveniles and subadults is that they move between Santa Barbara, the Channel Islands, Morro Bay, and then they kind of bounce around that triangle area. Larger, mature sharks, roughly 21 feet in size, feed off places like Point Conception and Vandenberg. Low points to protection and conservation for the increase in the great white shark population. The big question, is it less safe now for people to be in nearshore waters? They're in and amongst people all the time. So we actually think the larger juveniles may actually learn to identify people. In other words, they can say, that's identify that's a swimmer, that's a surfer. That's a paddler. And as a result, kind of, they become like freeway noise. You know, they kind of ignore it. It's there all the time. Lowe says from his team's shark tagging, they're seeing the same juveniles coming back year after year for weeks to months at a time. His message to the public. I think the reason why sharks aren't bothering people is because people aren't bothering the sharks. And our biggest worry is that people will think, oh, there's white sharks out there. I want to go get some video footage and I want to swim with them. That is the absolute wrong thing to do. Lowe warns that chasing the sharks could change their behavior, making them more aggressive as they defend themselves. The same would be true for doing that with a wild bear or a wild wolf. So while seeing these cool predators in, in their natural environment is really cool, we should give them their space. And Lowe says the more that people know about sharks, the less that they fear them. And his research is part of a state-funded program that funding runs out next year. Now, if you'd like to help, there will be a fundraiser on June 17th at the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum. You'll find more information about that on our mobile app and our website. So we know that there are mountain lions, there are bears in the mountains. We know there are sharks in the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy to give them their space. Me too. <laughs> yeah, they lived there first, so we That's can right. respect them over there. And um, I know it won't stop the surfers. They're out there. No in way. Any conditions and in any weather, it turns out, too.